Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This video is all about what you really need to do to get better at golf. I put out a video about a month ago. So basically a brief history of this thing is I've had this golf channel for like eight years and I've gone around the country interviewing many, many different instructors about how to be better at golf. And I've done a bunch of my own research and we've run maybe 45 or 50 different Be Better Golf schools, seen a, a whole bunch of different golfers. And I started to notice these few different things that, okay, this is making people better. The, like, there's other things that like are good for talking or intellectually interesting to people. But when the rubber meets the road and you really want somebody to get better, these are the things you do. And what was really funny is that I put that video out and I think maybe 40,000 people saw it. And I got a ton of comments of that, uh, that were positive about like, oh, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna do this. But of the 40,000 people who saw it, I had three that actually went through and did it. And that's kind of the game, like when you're doing stuff online, is like you're not really looking for everybody to dig everything that you're saying, but there will be a few people that like really uh, internalize it and go after it and do it. And of the three people that I had who, who have gone through it, and what it is, is it's a daily protocol. You do these things every day. So I had a guy in Turkey that did it, a guy on the East Coast here in America that did it, and then another guy, I think, on the West Coast of America that did it. But these are like people who like actually did it, that went through, like it's 35 days, it's five weeks, and went through every day and did this 20 minutes of drills every day. Of those three guys, two of them, and these are guys who've been go playing golf for over 10 years, all of them, two of them have broke their, have shot their career rounds. Of the three guys that did it, this guy was probably the most disciplined about it. So uh, there's, this is his message. I finished the five week program. I did not miss a single day. See the pictures below for a shot pattern. First day, first last. I'll show that in a second. And he's hitting the ball much better now. I really think you're onto something with this program. You should do a protocol for chipping. So here is his first day of the protocol because part of what it, you do is you use these impact tape reminders. And then here's the last day. So I think what's uh, interesting about that is that he didn't write me until he had already been doing it on his own for about three weeks. So he had really made like a lot of progress already. And then he started showing me some videos that he made of a few tweaks. So the real point of this is just to convince people that it's got to be constant pressure over a long period of time of doing the right things. All these videos are on this uh, Be Better Golf Club that I just started, which is if you can hit the, the join button, and it'll, sh it'll show that. But we're going to talk a little bit then about speed because I don't think people are understanding what I'm advocating. I think people think when they see the drills that I'm advocating for a swing that's only about that far back and through and just that to be your golf swing? No, that's not what I want people to do. You're actually going to be making a full swing, but you have to build it from the ground up. And through Dr. Kwan's research and some other things, I found that getting really good from here to here is something that most people cannot do. And if they learn to do it, because this is two different separate things, if they learn to do it, then they will actually improve a lot and it's something that people can do so the bread and butter of it is 66 percent shots with a few different clubs that only go from waist to waist that's the first part of what you're doing you do a seven iron driver pitching wedge so this is a pitching wedge so this pitching wedge i only want to fly it about 60 yards uh 70 yards something like that so that's really good and the main correction that i'm giving people that I see with that is that you got to hit the inside of the ball and get this ball starting to the right. If you saw that video I did with Mike Molaska, Mike Molaska said if he could just get people to hit small shots that started to the right and did that for a while, you know, your stance, your alignment straight, but you're getting him to start to the right and then you start drawing from there, he said people would get so much better it would be a joke. This got confusing for people because it is not about, okay, going around the course all day even though that feels really compressed and if you see the face on of it you'll see an impact like you know you want or whatever it is not your entire golf swing so to speak so then the next part of it is, is kind of this john rom drill so i'll use this just as a you don't want to hit balls like this because it's so insanely difficult if i put this here and this is about two fists off my right shoulder now if i have to make this short back swing but i try to hit it hard and what i do normally is i would put like you could go like this and make a line in the ground, okay? Or get, you know, foot spray or whatever, put a line in the ground. 
And if I just try to make a divot on that side of the line, that's not too deep, and I can only go back there, but I try to swing fast, you'll start to see some things happen in your swing where I can only make a backswing about that far. So if you want it to go fast, then you have to start moving your body forward as your hands are going back. You have to get fully loaded. You have to turn your chest more than your arms rather than most people move their arms more than their chest. There's just so much good stuff that has to happen. Now you could challenge yourself and try to hit balls this way. And you can see right away why I call this the John Ron drill. You could challenge yourself and try to hit balls that way with something blocking you or like if somebody holding a stick here, it's too difficult. It's too hard. <laughs> I've done it, but uh, when, when the thing is like this, and then you gotta, you actually have to end up taking more speed off of it than you want to to actually learn it. So if you can make an L on this side and then move your body real aggressively, this really gets things synced up We're working really nicely together. Okay? So that one went a little left, but the compression was really good. So get your target, and when you hit these, you want these going straight or slightly right of your alignment. So we're fully loaded, short back swing with the hands, but kind of a, a full swing with the shoulders, which is opposite of what most people do. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to do. That's really good. That, so that's kind of like a drill swing. It probably looks basically like a normal swing, but with the full swing, and this is the connection that people aren't making. The full swing, you will have a full turn, but the only thing that makes you go fuller is there's more energy from here to here. So if I do just the shot that's the functional swing plane shot from there to there, okay, and you hit it really good. Then if you do the second part of it, which would be like the, the John Rahm feeling drill where you're feeling as if there's something restricting your arm swing back here. So not the club, the club can get fully set, but your arms can only go there and you hit it. You feel in order to get it here, you need more energy in this part from here to here. So you go. So you get more energy from here to here. Like that. Then the only thing that you change then when you go into your fuller swing where you want to hit it further distances is you don't turn more or try to get on your right side more or anything like that. You just put some more energy initially off the ball and then it takes you longer to stop your swing where you go. So now it's just a little bit more energy and that becomes a longer swing. It's not a longer swing because you're forcing yourself to go back. It's because your, your back and your shoulders are forced into that position because of your initial move from here to here. So that's the thing. Like that, so that's a, a big, full, wide back swing. And, but it doesn't really feel that different from this one that just goes there. The only thing that feels different is off the ball, it's like instead of lifting a, a four pound weight this way, it's like I'm lifting a 30 pound weight and, and heaving it that way. Something that uh, Dana is talking to me a lot about, Dana Dahlquist, that teaches Bryson DeChambeau right now. So just off the ball is a little, a little more intense. So the first one would be like soft and just uh, belt to belt. The second one would be like medium, and that's the John Rom. And then the third one would be like firm. And then you're just firm off the ball and that becomes that bigger backswing. But the feeling of all three shots is super similar in your, uh, it becomes an action and a reaction. So. so it becomes an action this way and a reaction that way. And th those two things have to equal each other. It's actually, uh, it's been worked out in science. It's called uh, swing resonance. Uh, Dr. Robert Grover came up with it, where it's actually one part forced that way and two parts forced, it's a doubler this way. So the doubler on the pitch shot is just this to this, and a doubler on the ROM shot is this to this. 
and the doubler on your full swing is this to this. And that's the thing that makes your backswing longer. Yeah, like that. Okay, so I found something that's really cool that helps with this a lot because I think people, when they wanna get shaft lean and compression, for, especially when they're doing these drills, I'm seeing them, they're holding too much and they're doing it in the wrong way. So I found this thing that somebody sent to me from Florida um, where it's got this, uh, it's called the straight stick. It's got this slider on it where, listen, so it snaps off. And I think when I've seen people using this, I think they, I don't know if they're using the right way or wrong way, but there is a very good way that you can use this that I like a lot for it. And what that is, is if you do these drills with this thing and it's got this grip on it, that's super smart because you can actually turn it to be like however strong you want it to be. In the context of this, the thing I really like it for is that if you make these kind of John Rom swings or whatever, I don't want, like holding is the worst thing you could do. What you want to do is you want to get this thing to click, but you want it to click on that side of the ball and you still want to be aggressive with your hands and wrists in this direction, not so much that direction. But so you want it to click after the ball, but you want it to click loud. So use your wrist, just get it to click with your wrist on that side of the ball. And you can actually hit balls with this thing. So if I go here, the drill is fully loaded here. You're feeling a little shorter, like you're feeling and you're feeling that it's only gonna be like left arm parallel. Then hit the ball and get this thing to click extremely loud on the target side. So if I go here, I go. Yeah, just like that. So you see the ball's flying away and then I'm boom, that way, which is totally different from what I was doing when I started the channel. When I started the channel and I was absolutely desperate for lag, I would have been trying to hold, 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 release, and then the, the release would like never happen. It was the feeling. Here is, no, I'm actually, once I'm here, it is all out, but it's the intention is to get it to snap hard that way. I mean, uh, there is a lot of force in the uh, arms and wrists, especially for golfers as they're getting older. This is uh, kind of how it works right here like this. See, so the ball's flying and then it clicks. So medium would just be like this. I'm sorry, light would be like this. Medium would be loaded and there, little click. And you can make it like, if you want to try to swing 100 miles an hour, I actually like to put this on the uh, pretty low, like 70. But I want this thing to click loud on that side. And the only way to do that is to, you, you got to use everything, but you're just directing it all here. You're not, there's no holding on at all. That was just like the best shot of my life. And I've always had like training aids where you can actually hit balls with them are my favorite things because you're really feeling something. So anyway, put it all together, get super good at waist to these three shots. Waist to waist with almost no wrists, you're, only, you're doing it very light. It's only carrying like 60 yards with your pitching wedge. Then you're getting fully loaded, left arm parallel only, but trying to hit it hard, okay? That gets all these things synced up. And then finally, you're going off the ball firm and reacting to that in this force ratio of one to two, as Dr. Robert Grover said. And the final thing is, I think this straight stick thing, like I know you see it a lot of places, it has a ton of value if you get yourself really clicking it on that side. If all you did was in the backyard, aggressively use your body to make it click on, the, on that side, on the left side, the main thing is no holding, don't hold anything. I talked to the guy that makes the straight stick and there's a discount, a really good discount in the description to this video for the straight stick. I think every golfer should get it, it's really, really good. And I actually have one more ball here that I'll hit. So if all you do is you get the straight stick, use the discount and set it here. And if all you do is use this straight stick and sometimes when you're not hitting balls, you're clicking it on that side. And then when you are hitting balls, you are not holding on to anything. You're fully letting it go. Like that. It's called the straight stick. 
you'll see a link for a discount in the description to this video. Also, if you're interested in joining the Be Better Golf Club and seeing the full protocol that I was talking about early on in this video, very few people of everybody who's seen it have actually stuck with it, but it's 100% effective for the people so far who have done it and actually have gone through the five weeks. So it's five weeks of your life, 20 minutes a day. You have to have like religious style devotion to it, but it works. And regardless of the golfer, like it really works well. So uh, to see all that stuff, you join the Be Better Golf Club below. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.